You know what's even cooler than satisfactory? Conveyor belts. I love them. Let's try to make a game using those bad boys. The Weekly Game Jam Week 229, a competition where you have to create a game in the week on a given theme. And this time, the theme was transport. Let's start with a cube and make it look like a conveyor belt. Yep, we're getting somewhere. I have no idea how to do this, so... Okay, let's try this. Oh. Wait, did it work? Let's fix the camera angle. Wait, this is actually working! First try! What's happening to me? Let's try it again with a second one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no! Maybe if it was based on its own transform position, it would work better. Haha! <laughs> okay, almost there. Okay, it works now. You can now move the camera position using your keyboard. Next step was to create a package spawner because we want tons of them. If I can create two of them, might as well create a shit ton. Legend says this is what Amazon headquarters look like. What the hell is even happening here? I really tried to go with autographic cameras, but as you can see, it's unreadable. Talking about unreadable, let's add some post processing. My advice for 3D is to always use a blurry effect. It just looks good. This is what we have now. It looks good, but I still have no idea about the gameplay. Bloop. Haters are gonna say we are wasting resources. How in the Seven Kingdoms is this physically correct? Would you look at that? Another tutorial that does exactly what I wanted to do. I mean, at least it's a start. Yes, I got you. I wanted for this game to generate a level randomly, and it was much more annoying than I thought it would be. But eventually, after a lot of trials and errors, it finally was getting somewhere. And that thing that you can see here was the first level that was truly randomly generated. I then tried to make each platform go as little downwards as possible. If you're claustrophobic, the next scene may or may not shock you. But then, look at that. It's perfect. Then I created a giant box that would gather all the packages. And for the moment of truth... <laughs> Wait, that was so unsatisfying. Okay, it should be better now. I did it, it's all constrained. Contra constrained on, on the rotation. Let's make this box big boy. Okay, I challenge you to fill this box entirely. It was finally time to add some gameplay elements, so I made it go faster over time and added some red blocks that you can destroy by clicking on them. After quite a lot of balancing, the game was starting to look challenging enough. Let's also some particle system, I just particle system. Oh, that's right. This game actually needs sounds. No God! No God, please no! No! Let's create a proper game over menu and music using FR Studio. Also, just so you know, I tried the pixel tele effects. Unfortunately, it wasn't working out. It still was beautiful though. One last tutorial screen and the game was done. Let's publish it on Ishataya. And here it is. Well, that's going to be it for this video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more game dev videos, consider subscribing. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.